come together? Pretty organically. We did not anticipate doing it like on this timeline or in this space. We originally had a, a plan to do it here at some point in the future, and it was kind of an, you know up in the air as to when that would happen. And then the fish pub closed, and um, we saw an opportunity. And we thought, you know, we'd be silly not to go after it when we already have part of the fish legacy, and it's right there, and it was pretty much turnkey. So um, we spent some yeah. time uh, with the landlords negotiating that, and they've been super supportive. Yeah, right. they've, they've been great. Like, contrary to anyone thinks about landlords, like especially the Solbergs, they've been great to work with. Yeah, putting a, a tasting room in here into the brewery was just going to be an insurmountable amount of work. And when the when the lease came up, it's like we didn't want to open a restaurant necessarily, but it's available. We should do it. It's just one of those things where it's like when it happens, it happens. You just kind of go for it. Um, I was doing carbon pop before, uh, making burgers in the street during the pandemic, and so to land that somewhere, it's been it feels really good because it's been missed. I think a lot of people say it's been missed at least. Uh, <laughs> You know, when we were putting the tap room together here, we were just going to make it really comfortable for pop-ups to do, which was our initial intention. But, you know, with the restaurant available, you know, we're going to give it a shot and see how it goes.